This is the Think Tank Airport Roller Derby. Full disclosure, I did not buy this. They just sent it to me. I didn't ask for it. There were no conditions. I didn't have to make a review of it. I could say terrible things about it. Sending me free stuff doesn't get you an automatically good review. Check out my uh, tripod review if you don't believe that. It's a, it's a roller bag. It spins around like this and you can tilt it and walk with it like that. I took it to Ireland and back and it's fantastic. And I brought other bags that I'm not bothering to review because they didn't move me like this, but this one just worked great. It's got the extending handle that can go to a couple of different positions depending on your height and how you're holding it. And it's got lots of external pockets. Like here's a pocket that I just put my passport and, and boarding pass in because you know, you're always like pulling it out and, and putting it back and it just like kept it flat. It has this thing over here, which I don't care about at all, which is a lock that kind of comes out. I never have ever in my life wanted to lock my bag to something. So I'll probably cut that out, but maybe you find that useful. Um, over on the side here, there's a pocket you can use to stick a tripod in, but I put my tripod in the inside. I'll show you that in a second. There's another pocket over here, which I have like my little road lab mic in here and some headphones and other little things. Things you might want to uh, dig into the bag for. The front pocket here can hold a laptop. They say it holds a 14.5 inch laptop. I barely managed to squeeze in my 15 inch Toshiba laptop. So I can pull that out. Oh, kind of, like I said, it barely fits. It's, it's bigger than it's rated for, but it worked. And um, if you look in here, you'll see there's lots of photography stuff in here. Lots of those little pockets that you need for, you know, what do I have in here? like extra memory cards and uh, a lens cleaning tool, stuff you need when you're traveling. So I love having little pockets like that because it just keeps your stuff organized. Let's get into the inside of it. I took this to Ireland, which has beautiful landscapes. So I brought my DJI Phantom 4 drone and I didn't want to bring that stupid gray case that it comes with, and I hate the backpacks and stuff that are made spe specially for it, so I was excited to find a bag that I could actually fit it into. There are lots of these dividers that it comes with, and I've completely reconfigured those. You can reconfigure them into just about any shape that you can imagine, so this is just very custom, but it completely fit my drone and the controller in there, as well as the extra battery and everything. You know, i just show you some of the stuff I travel with. I just want to show this. Your camera comes with these battery chargers and they always come with like an eight foot long cable. <laughs> but you can go on Amazon and find these little guys that just replace that cable and they don't take up as much room in your bag. That's so useful. You can also get battery packs that charge via USB in case you already have a USB charger. Definitely check those out. Um, I was able to fit my entire Manfrotto B-Free tripod inside of it. it. It just fits perfectly good space for that and the height of it the depth of it is enough for a like full frame uh full format camera like the d5 Whew. <laughs> turn that thing off uh, as well as a couple of lenses can sit in there vertically or horizontally if you have something like a 70 to 200 what else uh, band-aids and stuff because you always need <laughs> medical care when you're traveling you don't want to bleed on your clients that sums it up Think Tank Airport Roller Derby. It's it's painfully expensive though. It's a great bag. It's perfectly put together, but it's like almost 400 bucks. So if that doesn't sound completely painful to you and you need to travel with a bunch of gear and you're traveling all the time, this worked out great. I, I tear my gear up. I don't care about it at all. It fit perfectly in the overhead. I traveled thousands of miles with it on a couple of different trips now and uh, it's holding up perfectly. Think Tank, thank you.